All right, I wanted to do a quick video here on um, basically taking responses from choice questions in a Microsoft form and writing them into choice columns in SharePoint. Now, I understand this may not be exactly what you're looking to do, but you might be looking at one or the other. So either how to, what to do with those forms choice values or how to write data into choice columns in SharePoint. We're gonna cover kind of the most common uh, and even some of the, the outlier scenarios. So basically this, the, the case I have here is I have this form where I have a single select plane where we're simply letting people choose one of those single select with other so those same choices but they can write in their own and then we have a multi-select plane so just choose m one or more of these and multi-select other which is choose one or more of these but also allow them to write in an additional value so the, the goal here is to take the data from this form and save it into this list in SharePoint so these columns are set up to mirror that so this is a just to show you this is a single select plane where we have those same choice values and it is important that the choice values match directly from the forms choices to the SharePoint choices if your data is coming from forms now even if you're not getting your data from a Microsoft form for getting it from somewhere else uh, hopefully this video will still be useful to you just to understand how to write that data into the choice questions in SharePoint, the choice columns in SharePoint. So just cancel out of that. Uh, so I'm going to go in, back to our form and we'll just do a quick preview here and fill in the form. So I'll say for that one, we'll select red. For the with other, we'll say gray and multi-select, we'll say maybe orange, green, and indigo. And then multi-select other will go with red, green, and plaid. So I'll submit that. And if we go over, I have a very basic flow here, simply with the uh, when a response is submitted trigger, and then getting the response details, just so we can see what this, uh, what the the output of that flow is going to look like, or the output of that form data rather. So if I look at the flow run that just completed, we will see there's our response and here are our details. So we can see that the single select plane and single select other are simply coming in as text values, as, as strings, which is fine because we can feed that directly into the, uh, the, the fields in the SharePoint, the create item action for SharePoint. Now the multi-select other uh, come in basically as an array. So it, in here it looks like an array. We've got the you know, quotes, we've got commas, we've got the square brackets, um, but we can't directly feed this into that array. And, and I'll show why in just a second. And if we look further down, here is the body of our response. We'll see that that array from those multi-select questions is a little, you know, it's got these extra slashes in there. So we need to do a little bit of cleanup there. We're going to use the, the JSON expression to help us out with that. Uh, so let me just edit this flow. And we're first going to add a create item in action for SharePoint. And we'll select our SharePoint site, which is a form sandbox. And the list name is forms choices to SharePoint choices. And then it's going to bring in the schema of that. So for the title, I'm just going to use the submission time. Actually, there's the yeah, submission time of the, the form submission. That's perfectly fine. And then for the single select, it's simply asking for a value. So it's going to take a text value. I can simply select enter custom and then select single select plane and that will feed that value in there. Same with single select with other. So it's simply a string value. I can select single select with other and we're good to go. Now for the multi selects, um, it needs to be in a certain format. So because these are, um, SharePoint storing these as an array, as a list of items. So just to show you what, the, to get a sense of what that's gonna look like or what format they need to be, I'm just gonna select blue and green in that one and we'll select the same here 
just again to, to get a sense of what we're looking at, what format the data needs to be in. So when you have these multi-value fields, whether it's a choice field, a person field, you have the option to switch from this kind of individual notation to the array notation. Uh, so if you click this, it will convert it over and you can see the format that that data needs to be in. So what we actually need to do is take that response data that we had that was the you know blue comma green comma whatever and convert it into this with the value and the quotes and all that other good stuff uh, in order to write these values into this field. Uh, so we're going to use two tricks to do that. Well first off let me just clear these out. I'll do the same here. Get rid of that. Uh, so we're going to use a select action and select is an action that we use to basically manipulate or shape array data. So when you have a list of things and you want to, maybe it's a list of objects, a list of values and you want to do some kind of manipulation or formatting of that or shaping of it, select is the action you want to use. So I'm going to use select and select that again uh, and I'm just going to name this select multi select plane and let me copy this and we'll just paste it again but call this multi select with other now within here, we need to give this an array. So we need to provide it an array of data. And I can't simply give it that multi-select other because remember it had those slashes in there. So what I need to use is the JSON expression. It'll basically clean up those slashes for us. So I'm going to click expression, type in JSON, open parenthesis, go back to our dynamic content, and then I will select the multi-select plane and click OK. So it's going to iterate through that array and and then we need to give it a key so it's creating a, a set of key value pairs so we've got a key and the key is going to be the word value because remember when we looked at that array it had value colon and then the value. Uh, so then for the value it's one of the simplest expressions you'll ever use it's the item expression so I'm just gonna go over to expression here and just type in item open and close parenthesis and that's it and what it means because we're taking this array this list of, of color names really uh, of text values string values and we're going through the list so this item says give me the first item give me this the, the first string, the second string, etc. So it's going to take that list that's now in that comma format and give us a list in this array format that we need. And we're going to repeat the same thing here. So we're just going to go in, select expression, JSON. Uh, this time we'll be multi-select with other. Click OK. Again, value and expression item that's it all right so now in our create item action we can go to our multi select plane value select the array mode and give it that multi the output of that select action and same thing here we'll give it the output of the multi select with other action hit save and go back to our form and let's submit another response so this time we'll say green here we'll say orange and blue or we'll say blue you know what we'll, we'll put another value in here and we'll say black uh, for the multi-select we'll say orange and blue and then multi-select other we'll go with yellow violet and use why not and we'll submit that and we go over to our list in SharePoint there's the the new one that we submitted with the 
uh, our single select plain, single select other, multi select, and multi select with other. So you'll note that in terms of the formatting, we've got this nice pill formatting. So each of the colors has its own color, but when you're throwing in that other value because there's no defined format for it, it's using the default, which is just, you know, a, a basically a, a black outline with black text uh, and transparent background. So that's that. And if we actually look at our flow run, we can see exactly how that worked, how that did it. And so it's basically taking this value, but if we look in the response details again, it's, you have to remember why we need that JSON because it's got these ugly backslashes in there and you need to get rid of those. You, you could also use a replace action to replace the backslashes with something else or just replace them with, with a null string, but it's just easier to use the less complicated to use the, the JSON action. So we'll see that it's taking orange and blue, putting them into that array notation that we need same thing with the multi select other and then we're simply writing that information in to the sharepoint list in the appropriate formats so yeah that's pretty much it uh, just this is very simple even if you have to hand code this notation but again in this example i'm getting that information from a form submission if you're getting it from somewhere else from an excel file as long as you have that data in a, you know, the, those values in a comma separated format or, or, or some other character delimiting the, the different values, as long as they're values that can be broken apart and put into an array, an array, you can use the same technique to get them into the appropriate format to feed into the uh, multi-select columns in SharePoint.